This is a letter I wrote to my wife on our first anniversary. And it goes something like this. How does one measure the weight of a heart made lighter than air due to the joy that you bring me? In ancient times, such was the province of the goddess Mat, to weigh the heart of a man on death, deciding his fate. But your love is sufficient to counter my darkness. Your kindness radiates from you like a beacon, but no Galatea are you, but flesh and blood, that I can touch and caress and kiss and feel. I love thee. The art of thy flesh is indeed artistry, though, for your chisel is every stroke and wave or step in palettes that creates the soft curve of your gazelle-like legs, perfect ass and pomegranate breasts. I am certain that the erogenicity of thy dainty naughty bits is the mystic connection to the divinely reflective empathy in your soul. When your face shines beauteous in the silver moonlight, I am sure that it is the resonant connection between her tides, the naiadic thirst you have for the sea, and the brilliant spark behind your eyes. I love thee. I am as much the phantom of thy favorite opera as any man ever could be. But you change the note, for so soft and so glorious are thy notes, that my heart, my stone heart cracks, and the kidnap never happened. Instead of an ill-bred sequel, ours is a story of love undying, earned through the mutual calamity and fidelity of legendary historicity. I love thee. The fine threads of domesticity do not dampen the fires of our passion. For I have seen what but a few drops of Pan's honey does to thy thirst for me, and thy thirst quenches mine, but in quenching stirs up a fire hotter than suns, that put our own to shame, matching whole galaxies in size. And with the thrust of my spear I shall test thy waters, even to the depth of thy pool, pearl opalescent cruxing and primordial steam of hot dripping droplets that I tongue from thy smooth flush as honeydew and the grape. I love thee. By mind, by flesh, by spirit, and by soul I seek thy stars. By fate, by will, by deed, and providential union, I call thee wife. Now and mine, until the arch of time's arrow finishes out the cosmos and starts anew. While there is time, I would spend it with thee. Where there is eternity, I spirit walk the fire path, and every echo our whims take us. I love thee.